hello and welcome to round number seven of the Nemesis Online Racing League Championship here at Silverson, as you can see as Lazar the Greek comes through turn one now. I'm not too sure why he can't exactly see his car, but there we go. We are coming around Silverstone now, as we already have a Danny Ben Lahar retiring. Not too sure why, but Jay Hobson UK has retired because he has a qualifying ban after some uh, interesting driving at the French Grand Prix, which of course we missed, sadly. I'm just trying to get the championship standings up, as we currently have Bolt coming up towards the old start-finish straight. And then of course through one of the best corners in the world, through Cops Corner. Terrific corner, that is. And now we'll go on Woody, well, we'll watch Woody Racing come through. Maggots, Beckett's, eventually Beckett's, and then Chapel as they head down onto the hangar straight. Very, very wide by Woody Racing. That's going to cost them quite a bit of time there to bolt as bolt. I'm not too sure why we can't exactly see the cars properly, um, but whatever. As they come through just now with the final chicane to deal with. And as Bolt is still currently in first place ahead of Woody Racing. And is Bolt going to take pole? Yes, he... No, he's not! Oh, by six thousandths of a second, Woody Racing somehow snatches pole position from Bolt. Boy, oh boy, that was close between those two, that's for sure. And then followed by a second and a half behind is Chazza in P3. Quite some gap to, to those, to the top two, who were separated by six thousandths of a second. That's what I like to see. And there we go. Woody, on, Woody Racing on pole by six thousandths of a second. Bolton second, Chazza in third, Sonics in fourth, Dougie in fifth, Hefford in sixth, Lazar in seventh, Mercio Largo in eighth, uh, Val in ninth, uh, Ert, Ayrton Spenner, or Callum J. Spencer, uh, in tenth, Skull in eleventh, Schechterfer in twelfth, JFD in thirteenth, Danny in fourteenth, and then we have Jay Hobbs in UK rounding up the field in fourteenth position. As uh, Bolt says, uh, my sector 2 was a joke. So you go, clearly not happy with his second sector. One thing's for sure, after Woody was all on all, all over the grass c coming out of chapel, I was certain that, um, that Bolt was going to have pole there. But it was not to be Woody racing on pole. Uh, uh. And now, since of course we have the formation lap to deal with, the which is oh so very annoying, um, let's bring up the current championship standings when I can get them up. And here we go, these are the current championship standings after the Austrian Grand Prix. So, on 229 points we have Bolt, second is Chazza on 150 points, then third is Chillikill on 91, Woody Racing on 89, Val on 88, Danny Bin Lahan 71, then there's quite some gap down to Sonics on 39, Jay Hobson UK on 38, uh, Lazard the Greek on 32, Hefford on 30, also on 30, Emerchi Lago and King No Skill, Dougie Efferman on 22, Skull on 21, Cal McCloggan on 20, 
T I oh no on sixteen. Sorry, my eyes are deceiving me. A testermeister on fourteen, Schechter on seven, NL on one, Superkill on one, and then JFD Jacobs most poor energy men have not scored a single point. Oh as about five minutes after I've typed in the chat, well actually two minutes, Nightbot has finally responded. So we would have got that a little bit earlier, but we had to wait. As we shall get all of this set up now for you. And everyone except Ayrton Spenner on <laughs> the hard compounder tires. We'll stick with the position change for the time being. So I have a one a final gulp of water before we start. But hopefully we see a good race between Woody Bolt and Chazza. I think a, a continued theme throughout this whole season is Chazza's qualifying pace has been rather poor, but he's certainly stepped up in the race and he's given it given quite a good flight to Bolt and Woody Racing. But it's just not to be so far for Chaz up. For anyone, it's mainly been Bolt, the two Russian time drivers dominating the championship. But now, we are ready to get underway as we have two, three, four, and now five red lights signaling the start of the race. And lights out, and away we go. And it looks like it was a pretty solid start for Woody Racing. He certainly has got the jump there. But now Chazza is looking to challenge on his own teammate Bolt here. As we've got quite a few cars running wide back there. It looks like we were having quite a bit of issues there with some drivers. As, oh, there's a spin in the background. and that's There's been a few contact there. If you're involved in the scuffle, we'll have to see who was involved in that. But now as we head back towards Hefford. I was just got past Val who's ran wide there. Ayrton Spenner up into 8th place. And I believe it was Lazar who spun. Oh, and there's three wide, and that's never going to work. That was Val making it. Oh, and Ayrton Spinner has been absolutely collected there. That was Val going down the inside and making it three wide. Very audacious move, and that's resulted in contact there. As now Lazar just get pa gets past Ayrton Spinner, who was a total innocent bystander in that incident, and gets past, and also Lazar now gets past Val. As they're about to go side by side through cops, are they? I thought they were. But quite a few at the back here with damage, that's for sure. But Bolt, just half a second behind Woody Racing. The top three got away cleanly. Oh, and now Chazza is looking to make a move on Bolt for P2. He's going to have to go the long way around the, around the outside. As he got the move done, no, not quite, but he's going to have the inside line if he chooses to stick it up the inside here in the chicane. It looks like his teammate's going to hold it around the outside. Chaz is not going to risk any contact at this early stage of the race and maintain his P3, but Toby, or Bolt, has, has run wide there, and that's certainly allowed Sonics to come into the equation here. He's right there as Bolt runs wide once again all over the grass. And Chaz is going to be all over him here. He's going to try to look to go around the outside. But nothing doing there. He's going to look for, go for a little cheeky move up the inside here. Yes. He, he, it looks like he didn't see that coming. It looks like he just turned in. But he maintains P2 for the time being. And all that squabbling between the two Russian time drivers has allowed Woody Racing to open up a 1.6 second margin already. As Dougie Afroman has somehow got past Sonic, so I'm not sure how that's happened. And who's that back there? I don't know who that is. Oh, it's Dougie Afroman. He was was he off circuit then? I don't know what on earth is happening between these two. As now they come side by side down into cops. Dougie Afroman with the inside line is going to be able to manage to hold on to that move. And that position for the time being is now they come in through Maggots and Beckett's as we sync the cars in front with this camera shot. We'll get a better view with the onboard camera. Oh, Sonics nearly loses the rear end there. That could have been quite a big moment. But 
He stays behind Doug Efferman for the time being, does Sonics. As it looks like he's calmed down amongst the field, but the big winner from this has been Danny Ibn Laha, who started 14th and is now up into 6th place, only 3 seconds behind these two. So they come through the final corner. Right about now, Sonic seeming to have major issues with his rear end, that's for sure. Squirming all over the place. As he now as they now head through turn one, but Sonic certainly runs wide there. Gets away with it just about, but that's gonna cost him a little bit of time there to Dougie Efferman. But it looks like Bolt is already cutting into that margin that Woody had of about 1.6 seconds. The gap is now just underneath the second. And as soon as you get any form of DRS around that track, around this track, good luck getting out of it because it is so powerful here. As I've just seen a move um, further down the field. Oh, and Sonics has gone into the gravel out the exo woodcut. That was a mistake you don't want to be making. And now he's all under C from Danny Ibn Laha into Cops, but nothing doing through Cops. That is for sure. I'm just going to... When we have a little bit of a lull in the action, I'm going to turn the game sound up because it doesn't sound too loud for me. So I can only imagine what it sounds like for you. So now Danny is looking to set up a move on Sonics. But nothing doing for the time being. So now we have Chazok closing up the gap once again to his teammate Bolt. The two Russian time drivers as Mitchell as Val, I think. What's happened to Val here? Val has gone off circuit and lost a bunch of positions. It's been an awful start for Val that has contact with a numerous drivers. And now he's down to 14th place as we have Skull, Annette and Spinner who's just gone way off circuit there. Nearly making contact, but Chaz up. Oh, Bolt. Rear end going all over the place there, and if Chaz can get a good exit here, he might be able to find his way past his Russian time teammate, but it looks like Bolt's actually had a pretty good exit, and he has DRS. Does Bolt, so that's been a bit of a saving grace there for him. As these three really are pulling away from those behind. 7.6 second gap to Dougie Afferman behind already just at the start of the fourth lap but it's going to be pretty close between these three that's for sure as we've seen it was six thousandths of a second for pole Can, could it be even closer in the race as they come through cops now both running all three running wide but Bolt and Woody running much wider that is for sure we've seen track limits be an issue speaking of track limits we've seen track limits be an issue in the last race and it looks like it, they might be an issue here again once more which is not good to see this Chazza has DRS now on Bolt everyone having DRS now except for Woody Racing so come through Stowe Bolt now really closing up to the back of Woody Racing here putting the pressure on and one thing's for sure, Woody Racing is going to be feeling that pressure and Chaz is just going to be sitting here behind hoping there's some sort of contact as these two are running very close together as Danny Binlar has got a 5 second time penalty let's see what happens here out through turn 1 it looks like Woody ran a little bit wide and then on the exit oh as Bolt sent it down the inside Woody locked up but n no contact there between those two I thought that for a moment there was going to be some contact but there was none as we had Dougie Afferman and a couple other drivers in the pits. Danny Ibn Laha and Sonics as well. That promotes Hereford up into fourth as now we have Bolt looking to make a move potentially on Woody Racing but not close enough for at the moment. Now trying to set up a nice wide line on the exit of this corner up but not quite able to do that in an F2 car and he once again nearly loses the rear end. And that's going to cost him some time coming down the old pitch straight, down towards Cops Corner. Of course, the old turn one. So now head through Maggots and Beckett's now. It looks like Bolt 
It's really closing in here on Woody. It's all about the XR Chapel. And it looks like Chazza might actually have the best out of all of them here. And yes, he really is closing up here as Chazza. All pulled to the right as Woody's trying to defend. But Bolt's got awesome run. But he's just not close enough to make a move on Woody. But Chazza with a very nice exit here out of Stoke Corn. Is he going to... Oh, it's both, both Woody and Bolt come into the pit lane. And that's going to, of course, give the lead of the race to Chazza. Let's see if he can make the overcut work. But we're going to keep an eye on the action in the pit lane for the time being to see who comes out. Who's got the first pit box here? Woody's got the first pit box. So he should come out in the lead as they both now go onto the hard compound attire. And there we go. Woody racing back out in front of Bolt after the, the first round of pit stops here. As we also have Hefford and Jay Hobson UK in the pit lane. As we have a few other cars going around on circuit. It's very hard to see where everyone is at the moment. As mostly everyone is in the pit lane. There's Jay Hobson UK being held there. A little bit. But here we go. We found our way back. And now it's going to be very difficult for these drivers to make these hard compound tyres warm up. As we can see, Dougie struggling there. Danny looking for quite an audacious move up the inside. And I think he might have scared Dougie off a little bit there with that fake. And now with the DRS in the Trident, is he going to be able to make the move down the inside? Dougie doesn't defend the inside line. But he certainly outbreaks Danny there. Oh, and covers off the inside line very nicely there. Good defending in the end there from Dougie Afferman as he holds on to his P6. But one thing that we've got to keep an eye on here is Chazal. Has he made... Oh, as we got Ayrton Spenner spinning off on out of the exit of Cops there and are we going side by side here with Dougie? And Danny. Oh, Danny with a brilliant switch back out of Cops. Sorry, not Cops. Out of Chapel. And is he going to be able to get the run down into Stowe and get the move done? It looks like he's going to be able to. Great move there by Danny Abin Lahar. As now we've got to turn our attention forward. Where is Chazza? Chazza is just coming out of the pit lane now. Where's Woody Racing and Bolt? They're coming through turn one now. It's Chazza. Oh, Chazza's lost the rear end there. And he's going to come out just behind Bolt. And so just behind Woody Racing and in front of his teammate. Not quite as Bolt goes around the outside on those warmer tyres. And I think if Chazza didn't lose the rear end coming out of the pit lane there, he well could have been... Staying ahead of his teammate there. Bit of a mistake there. Not something we're used to, we're used to seeing from Chazza as Danny looking to send it down the inside once more. And Dougie goes wide. I'm not sure if that was a result of a bit of contact there. But Dougie down into fifth place now as Danny has had a brilliant race. Up, gained 10 positions up into P4 now. But we're going to put our focus back on to... The top three, the battle for the win between Woody, Bolt and Chazza as everyone is running ridiculously wide through Cop's Corner. Which uh, we, we don't like to see. But no one gaining enough down the hangar straight this time around. As we now come through the club and veil chicane. The first part is veil, second part is club. As everyone running super, super wide there. It's, it's unfortunate, but kind of just what happens with these F2 cars and they're not being so much downforce so right in the limit through turn one as we've seen there with Chazza but just doesn't look like the, he has those tyres warmed up as under braking he just he just looks like he was 
braking on black ice. He just completely skidded on. Chronic understeer as well in these cars. Still coming through Woodcut. The gap is remaining about the same between these two. About eight to nine tenths between Woody and Bolt. And Chaz are certainly putting more pressure on his teammate as they all run massively wide once more. And Dougie is giving Danny quite a good run for his money there. A little bit further behind. Has anyone got a good enough run out of Chapel? Uh, it looks like Chaz has got the best run out of everyone. He's certainly gaining on his teammate here. Heading down into Stowe. He faints to move up the inside, but he's just way too far back there. As they head out of Cop. Now, why did I say that? Out of Stowe. Now into Vale. And Club. As these these three just can't be separated, and it seems as if no one can is able to make a move on anyone at the moment. As we're just watching on board from Chaz here, it kind of gives us the best view as the off-board cams are very unreliable. As a couple of them lock up there, obviously, obviously Chazza, and I believe it was Woody Racing, but Bolt here, closer than ever to the back of Woody Racing, but through that corner. And the driver in front usually does gain, but Woody defending very aggressively already. And that probably saves him his position there, because Bolt did have a very good run. Out of the village section, I believe it's called. But losing the rear end there ever so slightly was Bolt. And now coming through Cops, and you see on the run down to Cops, he's gaining quite a bit on Woody. Once again, they all run massively wide there. It doesn't even seem as if they are trying to stay within the track limits there. As we did see from a few drivers last week. But now it's all about who gets the best run out of Chapel. And it looks like Chazza has got an re another reasonable run out of there. But perhaps is even better by Bolt, to be honest. But he was too far behind. Woody Racing after Maggots and Beckett's. And he's... Going to maintain P1 for the time being as we have Dougie Afferman, or as we have Ed and Spenner retiring from the session. So we have Dougie just about, about six tenths behind Danny Bin Lahai in fifth place. We have Jay Hobson UK in seventh. Trying to get his way, again, trying to get himself past Hereford for that sixth place. As neither of them got a particularly fantastic run out of Chapel, but now. Jay Hobson UK with the run, with a very good run. Is he going to make the move down the inside of Stowe? Yes, he is. He goes very deep, forces Hefford out wide. Apologies for the wrong camera switch there. Jay Hobson has got ahead as he is going to have to go around the outside through Vale and Club. Has he got the move done? Yes. No, they're still side by side. No. JB. Has got the move done there on Hereford. A very nice move in the end up the inside of up the inside of um, up the inside of Stoke. And so we have some action. As Schechter has just moved himself up into 11th place, getting past Skull in 12th. As drivers once again run wide through Cops Corner. Well, I think, watch out for Chazza here. He's taken a much better line through Maggots and Beckett's. And if he gets a good run out of Chapel here, he could be all over his teammate down the straight. But, of course, Bolt having the DRS off Woody is not helping Chazza. Because I think if Bolt didn't have that DRS, he'd be under serious trouble there. We're just seeing a stalemate between these three at the moment. As we have more battling between Jay Hobson, UK and Hereford. So don't know how, but Hereford somehow got past once more. Jay Hobson UK this time defending as we head into Maggots and Beckett's. Is Hereford running a little bit wide there through Maggots? 
And then through Chapel running very wide indeed and not getting a great run whatsoever. Jobs in UK getting a much better run, that's for sure. So we're going to go back towards the front now. Or are we? It's now Lazar has actually joined in on this battle. And it looks like he's got a, he's going to get a pretty good run out of Stowe. Is he, is he going to go for a move here? No. It's, Hefford actually breaks quite a bit later than Lazar. As it looks like we finally might have some action there as all. Well. What's happened to Bolt? We've got Chaz... We've got Shazza attacking Bolt as things got very close between these two now. But Bolt with the inside line as we now head down, down towards Cops Corner. Who is going to take it out between the two Russian time drivers? Who's going to hold on? They're going side by side through Cops. They managed to keep it on the track somewhat. No, Chazza is not. Chazza has gone off track there and got past Bolt. Chaz up into P2 as he gets past his Russian time teammate and I'm sure Bolt will not be happy with that. I'm sure there'll be a bit of finger waving. But now, right up, tucked up behind Chaz up, coming down the hangar straight. Is Bolt going to be able to do anything? No, Chaz is actually pulling away. That's for sure. But Woody Racing goes a little bit wide there and is Chaz going to be able to capitalise? No, he's not whatsoever. As Bolt just tucked up behind Chaz. Chaz actually runs deep and that's going to give Bolt perhaps an opportunity to go around the outside but not in F2 cars are you going to ever go around the outside through the final corner but now Bolt putting Chaz under tremendous amounts of pressure through Abbey as Chaz actually gets quite a good run through Abbey but Bolt so much later on the brakes and so much more confident on the brakes there than Chaz he gained quite all well all of the time back basically, but Chaz not with a fantastic exit out of that corner. And now Bolt is surely going to be able to manage to make an op opportunity to overtake here as Chaz has no DRS. Chaz are defending the inside line. And it looks like being he's going to be able to do that successfully and he defends the inside line. Oh so well. And Bolt looking for some sort of switch back line loses the rear end there. And that looks like that will be the it for, for this battle for the time being, as I'm sure these two will convene, as the top three will reconvene. But I must say, something needs to be done about track limits, because the top three have been running ridiculously wide, all race through cops. Um, and, and it's not nice to see when they're frankly running that wide off track. Just my two cents on it, as we have Lazar, who's got past Hefford, for P7, he's only a second behind Jay Hobson UK, so he'll be making that his mission to get past Jay Hobson UK in these final laps that are remaining in this Silverstone feature race. Oh, when Bolt hits the back of Chazza there, Chazza goes for a little bit of slide off the contact, and he's lost about a good seven tenths there to Woody Racing as Woody Racing sets a fast lap of the race at 143 flat. Very quick lap time there. These latter stages of the race by Woody Racing. As he's going to be having Chazza and Bolt chasing him down these remaining laps to challenge him for the win. As Bolt has DRS on Chazza here. But not going to be able to... Not going to be able to do anything with it. As we're going to head back a little bit further now. Looking at the battle for P6 between Lazar the Greek and J. Hobson UK. Was it breaking? Quite early there. And losing the back end very small. Oh, quite a bit, actually. That's going to cost him a lot of time. To Jay Hobson UK, who gets a significantly better exit out of that corner. But once more, Bolt half a second behind. But Chaz has caught up about half a second. Maybe not so half a second now, as he loses quite a bit of time through Stowe Corner to Woody Racing. He's gained a few tenths at least, but through the final cor through corners, is he going to lose or gain any more time? 
As there we go, Chaz who sets the fastest lap of the race, followed by Bolt who sets the fastest lap of the race, a 142.6. It's about four tenths faster than what Woody Racing was able to do on the last lap, but I'm pretty sure that Woody went quicker than what he did on the last lap. As well as now, the gap between Woody and Chazza is 1.7 seconds, as we are in the penultimate lap of the feature race. And now we're going to have a look at Last of the Great Cup, the inside of Stowe on Jay Hobson UK. Has he managed to get that move done? Yes, he has. There we go. Great move by Lazar up the inside there. And he moves himself up into P6. But we'll keep an eye on this battle as I don't think it will be the end of it. And there we go. It's Jay Hobson UK all over the back to Abbey. But he's not going to be able to do anything because, of course, you can only go one car at a time through that corner. Very late on the brakes as J-Obs and UK as he gains up to the back of Lazar. Once more, looking for a nice wide apex there is J-Obs and UK. But he's not going to find any benefit from doing so. As he now does get the DRS, touches the grass there. As we've seen him lose control of the car ever so slightly. We're going to focus our attention here on Bolt, who is only a couple of cars lengths behind his teammate Chazza. As we're about to head on the final lap of the race. As Bolt sets fast lap the race, a 142.529 through Abbey. They go. Bolt seems to be carrying so much extra speed through the actual apex of Abbey, but out of the exit. Chazza is able to carry more speed due to the line he is taking. And Chazza going a little bit defensive there into that corner. And Bolt has actually got a very good entry and exit out of that corner. And this could set up the move here. 4P2 for Bolt with the DRS open. He's flying down towards the braking zone. He's going to set it up the inside as Bolt as Chazza defends around the outside. And now he has the inside line for Woodcut. But Chazza... Is going to make, he's going to cut out that space there for Bolt. And now Bolt once again in the slipstream of Chaz as they head down towards Cops Corner. Bolt, is he going to pull to the inside here for Cops Corner? Oh, he's going to pull, but he doesn't commit to the move. Very smart driving there as they both run wide and off track. And this battling between these two is certainly gifted. Woody, well, meant that Woody Racing has got to win the race. Oh, and Bolt, how has he saved that as he hit the back of Chazza through Beckett's? There, oh boy, that could have been absolute disaster for the two Russian time drivers. But Bolt once again in the slipstream of Chazza as they come down the hangar straight. He's going to have to go around the outside here through Stowe Corner. Is he going to be able to get it done? Chazza squeezes, squeezes, but it looks like Bolt as he goes off track. He's going to be able to get the move done. Chazza, is he going to send it up the inside? No, he's not going to be able to. But Bolt is going to eventually come out on top between these two as Woody Racing with a fantastic drive wins the race in the end by three and a half seconds. He got it on pole and he stayed there from start to finish except the lap where Chazza didn't pit. Fantastic, fantastic drive by Woody Racing and be very pleased with that. And Bolt in second getting past his teammate in the end. Chazza in third. Danny is coming through Vale and Club now through the last corner, finishing P4. Or oh, Willie? No, he has a five-second stop, go pe or oh, five-second penalty added on for speeding in the pit lane. As Dougie actually finishes fourth in the end. Now we have Lassa coming through Vale and Club. Is he going to be finishing in 6th place? It looks like he will be. Ahead of Jay Hobson UK, Sonics, Hereford, and then we have Val in 10th. After what was really a horrible race for Val.
as we have the Arden driver winning here in Silverstone in the feature race. Woody Racing takes it. Well, in the end, very comfortable win. He didn't have to do too much defending. Even though he was under attack from Bolt. Well, under pressure from Bolt all race long. Then, of course, two Russian time drivers on the podium as well. Being Chazza. And Bolt. And there we go, those are the final classifications for our feature race. And of course, Woody Racing there, after taking qualifying, gets 29 points, and Bolt gets 2 points for the fastest lap, which he did have by a slim margin. Okay, was about a tenth there over Woody Racing. And so we're just gonna um we're just gonna take a little bit of a break here. During the formation lap. As it um looks like we may actually have a glitched lobby. So it looks like we may have to uh restart this all. Let's see. As uh Chaza and Toby oh bolt share their thoughts in the chat saying and with chat saying could have won if I had DRS on Woody after passing Bolt and then Bolt saying was only a matter of time to get Woody but fighting with teammate cost us both as I'm just trying to see what's going on here that's why you get this blue screen because I've got to, I've just got to, just got to quickly see what people are saying in chat. But I'll let me know in the chat, guys, if we are restarting with the new lobby. But I don't know how um, we can do that. So apparently, Murchilaga has lagged out and is driving around the track whilst we're all stuck here. Now let's see if, um, 
we can see this happening. Oh no, now we're, now we're off on the formation lap as Murchilago's left the session. Okay, well that was very confusing, wasn't it? But I'm not entirely sure why all of the uh, all of the timing is out of whack. Because of course Woody Racing is not going to be starting a pole. He's going to be starting in eighth. The pole is going to be starting in seventh. Chaz is going to be starting in sixth. So I'm not sure what's going on here, to be honest with you. Hopefully the timing does uh, fix itself. Otherwise, that will be quite an issue and very hard to commentate indeed. We're coming now down towards Stowe. As a uh, Beamer says hi guys in the chat, I assume you're Beamer Black from the Project Cars series, and if that is indeed you, well, doesn't matter who you are. Hello and thanks for joining us here for round number seven at, here at Silverstone for the Formula Two Championship. As now we are heading towards the grid and. There we go, confirmation that is indeed been black. Well, very nice to see you around. As, um, hopefully the timing fixes itself here, otherwise I, it's going to be near impossible for me to commentate. Because, of course, Merchilago, who should be starting on pole, is not here. Okay, thankfully it is reset itself. Here. As Sonics is on pole position here, as we have five red lights and lights sound away we go. There's a jump start penalty, drive through penalty for Ayrton sped up. And who's that up the inside through turn one now? There's a couple of cars running very wide there. I believe that was last of the Greek. As J Hobson UK is looking to make a move here on Sonics for the lead. He's not going to be able to quite be able to do it, but it looks like the Russian time drivers are squabbling over position again. As it looks like Woody Racing actually might be slagging a bit. But Chazza looks like he's been able to get past his teammate here in the squabble of all of this. And has he is he going to be able to hold on through Brooklyn's? Yes, he is. Chazza up into P5 past his teammate. As it looks like Woody Racing is lagging as they come through Woodcut. Now onto the old pitch straight as we have Val and Dougie Afferman actually squabbling behind this. As Hereford is also there. It's nearly three wide and all, oh, Val. That was very, very dangerous. He braked taking the inside line when he didn't need to take the inside line. And then that caught out the drivers behind and there was nearly a monumental crash there. That could have been very, very close. 
to some contact, but now it's very close as Woody Racing's pushing Jay Hobson down along the straight as Woody Racing's boxed in here. It's going to be nearly three wide as we head down into Stowe. Woody Racing going way, way wide. I'm not sure where he's gone as Jay Hobson has managed just about to hold on from Danny, but not so much from Woody Racing as he's gone past very aggressively there. On Jay Hobson UK and Bolt up the inside through the final corner on Chazza. No, not quite. He's not going to be able to make that work. But it looks like Woody Racing might be having a bit of connection issue here, connection issues here, which is our uh, costing. It could, of course, just be on my end because I am in Australia after all. But uh, Chazza this time around finds himself behind Woody Racing, and within DRS is now Woody Racing. Well, DRS window for the time being. That's what he's going to look to. Going to look to get past Danny Ibn Lahar now. Who is ahead? As I head through Brooklands. I couldn't remember half the quarter names before the previous race, but now they've all come to me as they head through Woodcut now. And do Woody racing at Danny Ibn Lahar. So we have some moves behind between Dougie Affman and Val and J Hobson UK. Everything's getting all so very spicy as Woody Racing surely must be pushing Danny through Maggots and Beckett's. Judging by the timing, and Danny gone a little bit wide there through Chapel. And that's allowed Woody to go up the inside. Very good move there by Woody Racing before they even get on the hangar straight. But now Chaz is going to be very interested in this indeed. Danny and Binlar are squeezing Woody very, very far to the inside line. But Woody Racing's managed to be able to get past Danny and Binlar with a very nice move up the inside there. But Chaz is looking for anything he can possibly get here. As Danny tries to go up the inside of Woody. But Woody sees it's coming. And Danny trying to get some sort of switch back. But that's just not going to happen there. As now they all one ride. Of course. Through club corner. Of course. That was silly. It's the Vail Chicane. Oh, as Danny's run all over the breaking meter boards. Onto the grass. And oh, nearly into the side of Woody Racing. That could have been absolutely disastrous there for Woody Racing and, of course, Danny in the end. But Danny able to just about avoid Woody. And where has Danny ended up? Danny has ended up just about coming back on the track in eighth place. Big, big mistake there. He was up in third. But a mistake there through Abbey, or the exit of Abbey. Has cost him massively there as Chazel loses the rear end. Russian Times love losing the rear end today, that's for sure. And now let's see them all run wide out on the exit of the cop's corner. And there we go. Way! Love to see it. Don't we, fellas? As now Woody Racing is catching up to the back of Sonics. For first place, and it's good to see Sonics back in racing tonight after he was not able to race last week. But Chazza has got a fantastic run on Woody Racing, and he's already passed before the breaking zone of Stowe is now. Bolt's also going to try and make a move on Woody Racing. Is he down the inside? But no, not quite. Woody Racing's managed to hold it around the outside there as Chaz has moved up very crucially for his race up into P2 past Woody. But now he just has to get past Sonics as soon as possible. Oh, as Bolt loses the rear end massively there. And it's now game on between the top three as they are separated by about three tenths of a second, all three of them. But Woody Racing with a very good run out of Abbey. Gonna try to go up around the inside. Trying to go around the outside of Chazza now. Woody's giving all of his got. Trying to think he's gonna have the ins. He's going to have space there to cut back through Chazza, but Chazza's way too experienced and sees that coming. Blocks off the move, but is Chazza going to be able to get past Sonic? Sonics is weaving all over the track. It looked like it looked like it for sure, but through Brooklyn's Chazza, not going to be able to get past. And through Woodcut, oh, looks like he's got a pretty good exit there. Sonics loses the rear end. Prime opportunity for Chazza to get past Sonics here. He's going to have to go around the outside. Here of Cops Corner, but that should be the optimal line as everyone's running oh so wide. And there we go. Chaz up in the first place as now it looks like we have Woody 
nearly side by side with Sonics behind. As Sonics nearly goes to the back of Chazza. Oh my god, and Sonics has lost it in front of Woody Racing. And that was a very, very close from Sonics taking Chazza out of the out of the race here. As now Bolt in the slipstream of Woody Racing all behind us. That could drama continued. Not able to get the move done up the inside of... Um, that is... I'm sorry, but that is ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. And now Bolt, as I'm sure he's been frustrated with a brilliant move up the inside the Vail Chicane. And is he going to be able to hold on through club corner? Woody's tapping him and tapping him. But he's not going to be able to knock the door down as Bolt manages to hold on for P2. And that's a... That is a pretty big cut there by Woody Racing as he now gets a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. And fair enough, I think that the, the driving by most drivers today in terms of the corner cutting has been pretty, pretty disgusting. But the rules enable it and if there isn't going to be any penalties for, for the driving then the drivers are going to abuse it. As there's a Russian time 1-2 at the moment. Between Chazza and Bolt. So head through Brooklyn's. As so I think things might just calm down ever so slightly for a few laps before everything heats up once more. But yeah, as so they come through Beckett's now. And then Chapel. Looks like Woody Racing actually might have some sort of damage because he's falling off a, quite a little bit here to Bolt. And Chazza is Woody Racing it is a second and a half, almost nearly a second and a half the gap to the two Russian type cars. As Bolt is putting Chazza under plenty of pressure. Is he going to replicate his move on Woody Racing here? No, he is not. He is chosen to just stick behind Chazza for the time being. And I think it would be wise for these two to just try not to battle and try to keep that gap to Woody Racing over a second because you don't want a second car or, or another car involved in this squabble. But looks like Woody Racing might not be having some front wing issues as he is closing up to these two now. As Bowles got a fantastic exit there. Coming now down onto the Wellington Strait. Bolt in the slipstream with the DRS. Chazza defends very late to the inside through Brooklyn's. Bolt going to have to go the long way around. Chaz is going to push him wide. Chaz is now going to have to get hold of the around the outside through Brooklyn's. But looks like Bolt has actually got a very good run out of Brooklyn's. And now down the old pitch straight there, side by side these two are, with Woody racing right behind them. Chazza with the outside line, I believe, four cops corner as they go side by side. And now Woody racing is also involved, as Woody racing trying to look at, to get past Bolt, but not quite as Chazza just about holds on to first place there through cops. But Woody racing all over the back of Bolt here through Chapel and who's going to get the better exit it looks like Bolt's going to get a very good exit as Chazza has actually struggled quite a bit here as Val gets out of the way Woody Racing weaving all over as we've got a virtual safety car and that's is that giving Bolt the lead oh no oh no I wonder why on earth we've had a virtual safety car here was it because Val was going oh so slowly down the hangar straight? I have no idea why we've got a virtual safety car, but that has given Bolt the lead of the race. As we're back under racing conditions here, and Chaz is looking to get past. We've got also Woody racing up the inside oh so dangerously there. Well, it looked dangerous from the onboard camera. I'm sure it actually wasn't. It's now Woody Racing looking to capitalise on his brilliant move up the inside of Chazza, it must be said. And now these three down the Wellington straight. Bolt defends the inside. Woody goes to the outside. Is Woody going to be able to do the cut? He's, Woody Racing is going to be right there. They 
Woody Racing runs tremendously wide. Chaz is now trying to stick it up the inside of Woody Racing. But he's not going to be able to quite do that as Woody Racing's got quite a healthy exit there on Bolt. But Chaz up ultimately screwed over by that virtual safety car there. I think he probably would have held on to P1 there with his Chazza. But it wasn't to be with the virtual safety car coming out as Woody Racing once more is oh so close through Maggots and Beckett's and soon to be Chapel as they head through Chapel and who is going to get the better exit out of these slots coming out of Chapel. It looks like Woody Racing has indeed got the very good exit that he needs and he's going to go down the inside onto the grass through Stowe. Is he going to be able to hold it up the inside? No! Fantastic defending there by Bolt to go around, to hold the inside line there. Sorry, to hold it around the outside. But through the Vail Chicane, Woody trying to make a move and up the inside through Club Corner. Surely not! Oh, what a fantastic move that is by Woody Racing on Bolt. As now Bolt already trying to go, get on the attack through Abbey as Woody's actually going defensive through Abbey. And surely... That's going to give Bolt an opportunity to make a move under the brakes here. No, not quite. As Woody actually locks up here and runs wide. And now they once again nearly side by side. Oh, Woody Racing's made a, quite a big mistake there. And Bolt has now got the inside line. And he's back into P1. But no, because of that, Woody Racing's got the inside line here for Brooklyn's. And is he going to hold on for the, t for the moment? Yes, he is. Woody racing up into P1. What on earth is going on here? Fantastic battling between these two top, between these top three, and we're only on that lap eight out of eleven. As now Bolt has actually got a very good run out of Woodcut. It must be said, and he's got to go down the inside of Cops. Is he? No, 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 he's not. As they both run wide, and Chaz has actually got a fantastic run there. On his teammate, but he's not going to be able to quite hold on for the time. Not going to be able to make a move for the moment. Has now Bolt once again tucked up behind Woody Racing. Who's going to get the better exit? Looks like Chaz has got a pretty good exit there. But of course, it's all going to be about Bolt now going down the inside of Woody Racing. There's going to be no contest there, surely. No, Woody Racing locking up, trying to hold it around the outside. And now with the inside line for the Vale Chicane. Side by side through Vale, but Bolt around the outside through Vale has surely got the move done, has he? Woody Racing is still there on the outside, but no, the, Bolt has got the move done, but surely not down into turn one, surely not up the inside into turn one. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic as Woody Racing's got another three second time penalty, of course. He got one early in the race. Woody Racing is a non factor. In this race, as he has a six-second time penalty on. I thought there was going to be contact as he made a late lunge there on Bolt. But now Chazza right up behind Woody Racing as we head down towards Brooklyn. Is he going to make a move on Woody Racing? No, Woody Racing locking up once more. Oh, and Chazza nearly into the back. Oh, and it looks like there might have been some contact there. On Woody's screen as it wasn't on mine as Woody Racing's gone spinning around. It looked like Chaz had turned out of the contact before there was any. As Woody Racing's now very unfortunately gone down into fourth. It's not going to be a three-way square up until the checkered flag as it looked destined to be. As now Woody Racing, surely not. Surely not side by side through Maggots. Oh, and, whoa, big contact there between Woody Racing and Sonics. What were you two thinking going side by side through Maggots? Oh, and Woody Racing coming back onto the racetrack. Oh, so dangerously there. As he nearly was collected by Last of the Greek and Danny Abin Lahar. Reckless driving there. And I think that will be need to be looked at by the stewards. That's for sure. As now we have Danny Abin Lahar going up the inside of Sonics for P4. And all of a sudden, Lester of the Greek is up into P3. Out of absolute nowhere. But now as we're on the penultimate lap of, the, of this sprint race, Chazza has a 1.8 second margin to close to his teammate Bolt. As the action is happening all behind us. As Danny Abin Lahar 
is now closing in on Lazar the Greek for P3, that final podium position. And of course, two of those podium spots are going to be drivers who are of the Racing Time team. As we have Woody Racing, who's just retired from the from the session, as I'm sure you was um, very frustrated and angry by his mistakes there. And well, after being, it didn't look like there was actually any contact between the two, but on my screen, but Woody Racing's obviously screen there was contact between the two, and he's he went spinning around, and then contact, major contact between him and. Sonics through Maggots and Beckett's as they tried to go side by side. Quite a large cut there by Danny Bin Lahar through Beckett's. It looks like Chazza has able, been able to close the gap to about a second here. It could be game on on the last lap, you know. As we're not even on the last lap yet, we're still on the penultimate lap as they're probably coming through club corner there. As Chazza sets a fast lap, the race at 141.8. But never mind that. Danny Bin Lahar up the inside of Laza. Very defensive move there by Laza under the brakes. It looked like he moved under the brakes. If I'm perfectly honest. Perhaps not. But Danny. All over the back of Laza as they both cut turn one. Abby quite massively. As we've seen multiple times today. As Lazar runs off circuit there. And oh, Danny, that is absolutely ridiculous. That move was never, ever, 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 ever on. But he went for the move. He risked it on the last lap. And contact between the two there. And thankfully, it's not been race-ending contact there. As now Chazza, seven-tenths or so, as he's actually stayed on track through through Cops Corner, which was uh, unusual to see, but it lost him about three tenths to Bolt. As now they head through Chapel, and I think that will be it. I think that is all we've written for the battle between the Russian time drivers for today, as we're going to quickly check back on the battle for the final podium spot between Danny and Les the Greek. Oh, it was... Chaz running very wide through Stowe, actually, trying to catch up on Bolt. He's giving it absolutely everything he has, but through the Veil chicane, nothing is going to be done. And through the club corner, it's going to be Bolt who wins the sprint race here, followed by Chazza in second. Brilliant battle between the two Russian time drivers. Danny tries to send it from absolute miles back through the Veil chicane. And then obviously gets quite a poor exit through the Vail Chicane. As Lazar the Greek is going to get third place. With Daddy in fourth. Sonics is going to finish in P4. With Dougie Afferman in third. King No Skill in fourth. Sheck Defer in eighth. Was actually being promoted up into seventh. And Hereford in ninth after King No Skill's got some penalties. Skull is going to be in. Going to finish and come home in tenth place. Jay Hobson UK is going to as he comes now through the Vale Chicane and eventually through Club Corner to finish home in P11 and he has a 5 second time penalty for an unserved penalty as we have Val and JFD Val being a lap down squabbling over well not over position as a cub home now. As we bring an end to our sprint race here. Fantastic battle between Woody Racing Bolt and Chazza throughout the race. Until the, it looked like there was some contact between Chazza and Woody Racing. But it's that familiar man once again. Bolt. TBD. Team Black Diamond. Winning once more and extending his championship lead. Once more here this morning tonight over his teammate Chazza. And 
we're going to move on to the final classification. And there we go. Bolt wins the race. Getting those 15 points. And as you can see, over the whole entire weekend, extends his gap once more by 6 points to Chaz up. And in this, there we go. Classification for the sprint race. Chazza second, Laza third, Danny fourth, Sonics fifth, Doug Affman sixth, Schechter for seventh, Hefford in eighth, King Nose Girl ninth, Bolt, uh, sorry, Skull in tenth, Jay Hobson UK in eleventh, Jeff D twelfth, Val thirteenth, Woody Racing fourteenth, Merch Lego fifteenth, and Ayrton Spenner in sixteenth. But there's been a brilliant, brilliant night of racing here from the Nemesis Online Racing League boys. And that concludes round number seven of the Formula Two Championship. And, of course, at this time, uh, 10, 10 British summer time and um, 11 p.m. Um, Central European time and 7 a.m. <laughs> Australian Daylight Savings time. Um, we will bring you... What what race are we at next week? I'm not actually sure where we at next week. Let's um no, never mind. So yep, that concludes what's been a fantastic night of racing and uh it's been me, Nibblo331, and we'll all see you next week. Have a great evening and data. <laughs>